Hey, what's happening y'all? Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School, on a pretty crummy day today, Tuesday, the 23rd of August 2022. And uh, yesterday, not much, not much better. Not uh, heading towards the end of August and it's hot and muggy and crappy. Actually, come to think of it, I think it's been like this three days now. Of course, I'm not unhappy because it's not winter, so anything's better than winter. Unless, of course, you hate the heat or you hate the humidity or both, which is one of the reasons why people don't live in, the, in Florida and the Gulf states anyway. So I just literally completed this kick-ass painting. It's a badass painting and it's for uh, my great friend Nick's uncle Frank. And uh, this is a $200 painting uh, as of his truck, which is a 53 Chevrolet as you saw in the title. It's got a stroker. Uh, oh Jesus, I don't know. I think it's, uh, let me think for a second. It's a 390 something, it's a stroker, uh, uh, whatever, it's an LS, I, I, no wait, it's an LS, I don't remember if he showed the motor or not, because I, I, you know, I saw, I met his, I met Nichols' uncle last, um, not even two weeks ago, when we went to the, the car show in saint Sick was, was a beautiful VAQ show, beautiful, what's your ancien du Quebec, just uh, off the island of Montreal, just, uh, just southwest of Montreal. Anyway, perfect crappy rainy day weather. It finally stopped raining, but it was raining all day. Great day to, to do work on stuff like a painting, for example. And uh, some of you might wonder, like, well, how long does it take me to do these paintings usually? Well, you know, it takes, I don't know, 10, 13 hours, you know. I'm not going to say less because, you know, as you can see, I'm really, you know, totally a perfectionist here. I got my muse here, this picture here, provided by Nick. And, uh... Oh, we got a lot of glare on that screen and a lot of reflection. Cause I got my two lamps next to me. Here's lamp number one, and lamp number two, and I finally have perfected the ergonomic way to work on this stuff because it's so goddamn dark in this apartment. Look at all these lights I have on here. Look, the hallway light's not even on, and it's just pitch black almost, you know. Anyway, after living here friggin' nine years, I never got used to the darkness, which is really one of the reasons why I like to move next year. Yeah, so yeah, I got a little background music there going from, might as well give them a plug, it's a, it's a station on Radio Garden from uh, Turin, Italy called Blast It, Blast It Internet Radio, that's that's how it goes, you know, but uh, yeah, they're really a lot of funk related stuff, a lot of it, or R&B anyway, so, 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 yeah, um, you know, as you can imagine, as you can see, if I look, you know, show you closely here, total perfectionist, uh, when it comes to what I do. I mean look at those wheels. They look like stock rims But they're not they look like blacked out versions of the 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 hubcaps that were on a, a 68 67 68 Buick Electra 225 they had this this type of simple looking wheel here, you know But it wasn't easy honestly to do all these fades especially I've had to finish with here on the door and the fenders and this is where it got, you know, more tricky, and again, you have to be really... Because, you know, when you see the truck, you're like, oh, okay, it's black, you know, or you think, oh, it's flat black. No, no, but you see, Frank was clever because he he repainted the front end, like, the just it's just the, the grill and the uh, the hood that are gloss. Everything else is that satin. You can't really say flat black. We're so used to saying flat black, but frankly, it's not really. Flat black would mean there would be no shine at all, but there's like a... Uh, there's that, that, what do you call it? Uh, uh, is not is it pearl? No, it's not pearl. What did they call that? Uh, that that luster? It's uh, God. I don't know why it's, I'm blanked out now, but you, you get the idea anyway. So uh, now another thing too, and I, I told myself, look, I got an idea for a background. I'm going to do the uh, the old orange julep restaurant, which is a gigantic ball. You know, so there's a little bit too much light here. Right? Let's see what this looks like without this here. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, so I thought, yeah, you know, I'm gonna do that, but I didn't know which direction really to go. You know, at first I was gonna have it like, you know, the lights are on, there's people there, whatever. I'm like, you know what? No, no, that's gonna take more time. And then, you know, it's like, it doesn't cuts into the bottom line of a $200 painting, which was supposed to be a simple background, 16 by 20 inch, just to give you more of a perspective there. And then I thought I'd, at Saturday night, I thought, man, you know what? Why don't I do like sort of like an Armageddon, you know, abandoned kind of look, you know? So like you don't see the windows, like maybe there's no glass left or it's just lights out, you know? And and even the weather looks 
iffy and you know is are those clouds or is that from a nuke bomb who the hell knows the radiation uh, it's because it looks the truck looks like a kind of an armageddon type of vehicle it's a rat rod you know it's 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 almost flat black it's it's a bit black you know it's got it's got doesn't have any chrome it's devoid of chrome and i think if uh, frank had the choice he wouldn't have added probably that rear view mirror or because again it's just it, it you know, it just there's, there's it's devoid of any hub hubcaps or chrome or hood ornaments or anything. You know, it's very very spartan, very basic. And one mistake I'm noticing that I made, unfortunately, well, mistake, being a being a, oh my god, oh I like that song. That's freaking good, man. Oh man, more than ever, I love Roots Rock Reggae. You can't beat it. 60s, 70s, you know, Bob Marley, but even more to it than that. Oh man, I just love this station. I just bop along. It just keeps me going. I, it's it's fantastic. It's it's really um, a lot of unknown stuff, a lot of disco. Anyway, so uh, like I was saying, I went uh, a little boo-boo I did, but it doesn't really matter because it's art. You know, art is, a, what do you call it? It's a, it's, it's a reflection of life, you know, or in a funny way, or not exact way. And not exact way in the sense that, well, the box isn't lined up with the, the cab. And not only that, because once again, I've done a vehicle, like the whole perspective of the side front view, then if you look at my, my Muse here and look at mine, my truck is a little bit shorter. Right, so to fit them on the canvas. So that's the only downside with these canvases. They're not really made for doing big American vehicles. The last painting I did, the last painting I did of that Western Star truck there uh, for my uh, subscriber friend in uh, in the Saguenay in Shikudami, uh, you know, that was just half of the truck. So you didn't, well, half of the truck. No, actually, I was dead on with that, that painting, come to think of it. But actually, if I go back to because this is like the 11th painting I do of this size since since the middle of May, okay? It's like every week painting, new painting, every week. So that's this is number 11. And, you know, there was one painting I did, for example, uh, of uh, my friend Scott's uh, friend Dan, who is his 65 Impala. Same three-quarter view again, but it was just a little, like I barely got it in there, you know? So that's what sucks, you know? Uh, ver versus, like you've seen me show a few times that huge... Uh, uh, 65 Chevy uh, Burgundy 8-door limousine, our Brewster limousine with the 747 landing. That was easy because there's such a large uh, uh, rectangular canvas, which I'd like to do again. And I'm glad to have sold it, if I didn't mention last to it, to him and his son who came from Ottawa and met them by fluke. They were in my area. And I don't know, I guess it hangs in their wall and it was, you know, and I gave him a really good deal on that. So. Anyway, and I'd like to take, of course, I'd like to take this point and once again, you know, hey, listen, I want your business, right? If you're going to be fair with me, I'm going to be totally square with you. If I'm going to do a painting like that one week maximum, and uh, if it's something bigger, well, it costs a little bit more, but like I said, $200 with a simple background, your vehicle, it doesn't matter if it's an E-Type Jaguar, an 82 Ford Escort, a Ford LTD, uh, you know, uh, whatever, a Mercury Monterey, like I framed this ad here recently. Which hasn't had any expressed interest into it, unfortunately. And it's develop a, developed already a few waves, not happy with that. But, you know, whatever. Mercury Monterey, a Comet, a Meteor, an American Meteor, a Canadian Meteor, a Stutz Bearcat. You know, a freaking, uh, uh, dare I say, Toyota Corolla. Now, there's an, there's an asterisk on that. I'm not going to paint anything. I'm not going to paint just anything. Seriously, I'm not a starving artist here, you know. Uh, obviously, so far so good. I, everything that everybody wants me to paint, I have gone with. But like, for example, I saw a video from regular car reviews before of a uh, an '89 um, Toyota pickup. You said it was a Hilux. I didn't even know it was a Hilux in those years in North America. I would totally do a painting of those. Those are handsome trucks, man. I try to find one now, and the reason why you can't because they're all junk because they're all rusted out. I've seen some of these that are still around. Man, did they friggin' rust those things? I think you've even seen like one or two from out west, and they they rusted. So, but anyway, like I said, it's, uh, you know, I live here in Montreal. It's easy for me to ship, no problem. I have my postal depot nearby. I ship, like, you know, usually the next day. That's, of course, if you don't live in Montreal or the area. Man, is it hot and humid today. Whoa. And it's only 30 bucks here or the U.S. I imagine, like I said, Europe, I'd be willing, you know, but the price of gas, I haven't had any, you know, interest. 
So I'm throwing this out every time I do a event because I only, I think I only have right now my my friend Antoine's pacer I'm going to do next as I said I would. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't know after that. So, uh, yeah, get in touch with me. My email is below, ltmcfall at hotmail.com. And uh, it'll be my pleasure to immortalize your classic. Maybe it's not a classic, you know, maybe like I said, maybe it's a freaking, um, I don't know, maybe you have a Pontiac 6000. I love those cars. I'm very open-minded. And it's a lot of fun. So again, just to finish off here, this is acrylic paint. Here's, you can see my brushes there, just from now, from paint. today's painting. There's the old Christine is still there. Still available, not cheap. Well, cheap, I mean. Not cheap to people like me who have money, basically. But if you have money, well, it's not expensive. Neither is this Montreal CTC UM bus. Circa, well, there's not a specific year, but it's a model made between 60 and 64. And this one's $800, so. Let me just let you uh, noodle that for a moment here. Actually, let me throw a little line on that. Can I do that? There we go. Yeah, man. The good old days of... Public transportation in Montreal. This represents an epic era that will never come back. And unfortunately, as you know, I'm visually impaired. And when I paint, like I've mentioned before, my, if you haven't seen my other videos, I do paint very close like this. And sometimes I paint usually so close, I have to take my glasses off. So I can't, I can't drive. Man, I can't believe how hot this camera is. And I can't drive legally uh, because of my crappy eyesight. So I'm stuck with taking, as I always call them, the scrap. The um, you know the STM Nova Nova scrap that they've had since 2009, 13 years of this crap, 13 freaking years. On that note, uh, looking out my window on my street here on Cavillier in the Hochelaga district of Montreal, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care, guys. Be good, and uh, see you on the flip side. Bye bye.